Yo, what is up guys? Stellboy here. So as we know, a big fight goes down this weekend between Sergei Kovalev and Saul Canelo Alvarez. This fight of course takes place in Las Vegas and it is for Sergei Kovalev's WBO light heavyweight title. And it's certainly one of the biggest fights in the sport of the year. You know, no doubt about it, Canelo Alvarez is a franchise player. Hate to use that term, but... He is one of the biggest names in the sport, if not the biggest name in the sport. So when he fights, naturally, it draws a lot of attention. Canelo draws a big audience and a lot of eyes to the sport. But, you know, as time has gone on, as the years pass, a lot of fight fans find it a lot harder to get invested in Canelo Alvarez's career and they struggle to get excited for his fights due to a perceived level of corruption let's be honest about it you know certain fights that have been scored poorly you know years back you go back to the Floyd Mayweather fight where you know somehow he got a draw scorecard in that fight the first Golovkin fight where he clearly lost the Eris Landy Lara fight arguably he lost but one of the scorecards were way too wide the wide scorecards in the Austin Trout fight we can go on you know scorecards in Canelo fights have widely been criticised for years now. On top of that, obviously, the uh, failed PED test and the accusations that Canelo Alvarez juices. And on top of that as well, you have rehydration clauses, catch weights, etc. My point is, when you look at Canelo Alvarez fights, there's a large portion of boxing fans who really dislike the level of politics that comes with Canelo. You know, a lot of fans are turned off by that. And, you know, the referee for Canelo Alvarez versus Sergei Kovalev has been formally announced. And the referee will be Russell Mora. And this choice of referee will do nothing to alleviate certain boxing fans' fear of corruption going into this fight. You know, Russell Mora famously took charge of Abner Mahrez versus Joseph Agbeko. And that fight, if you've not seen it, is one of the worst officiated fights I've ever seen. Abner Mahrez was allowed to low blow round after round after round to the point where it was just disgusting. It was downright cheating and somehow Abner Mahrez got away with it and got the win. That fight was terribly officiated and one of the worst officiated fights of the past 10-15 years, no doubt about it. So make no mistake, Don Trella has that reputation going into this fight. And, you know, even a couple of the judges who have been named, so for example, Julie Lederman, who in my opinion isn't a great judge, along with Don Trella, who obviously scored the first Golovkin-Canelo fight a draw. So this guy's got previous as well. So, you know, the choice of officials isn't going to do anything to alleviate concerns that boxing fans may have going into this fight. A lot of people on all sides, apart from Canelo fans, don't trust the way this guy has his fights officiated. You know, they think there's something fishy there. And boxing just doesn't help itself at times. Everyone knows there are these clouds over Canelo Alvarez's fights. And from a PR perspective, you would imagine at some point the people around him would want to you know, distance themselves from that reputation. But no, here we are. We have officials that are very questionable. And don't get me wrong, everybody makes mistakes, but it just seems like a theme in Canelo Alvarez fights. But Russell Mora is the referee. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that below. Are you happy? Are you concerned? Or don't you really care? Me personally, you know, I'm still picking Kovalev to win. I've made my official prediction. I'm picking Kovalev. So it doesn't change my prediction, but I just wanted to throw it out there and kind of see what you guys think, to be honest with you. I would have liked a better choice of officials, guys with less track record of messing things up in a big way in big fights. You know, guys who have a better track record, basically. But yeah, share your thoughts below. Peace.